GAO found that the American taxpayer provided about $75 million in funding for the 1984 Los Angeles Games. By 1996, the bill to taxpayers had escalated to $609 million. And for the upcoming 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City, that bill to American taxpayers is estimated to be $1.3 billion. One point, that's outrageous, Mr. President, and it's a disgrace. It's a disgraceful practice to put these pork barrel projects on, on this appropriations bill. And I say to the senator from Utah, who's on the floor now, if another pork barrel project that's not authorized for the Olympic Games is put on any appropriations bill, I will filibuster the, the bill. In 2002, I went to Senator Bennett asking for some modest help. He's a member of the Appropriations Committee, as you know. Uh, I think he was thinking I might ask for five to ten million. We asked for several hundred million dollars in help. Everything that was needed was ultimately obtained. As this report points out, the American taxpayer has now become by far the largest single underwriter of the cost of hosting the Olympics. Mind you, this is not about private voluntary giving to the Olympic movement, nor is it about corporate sponsorships. This is about a cocktail of physical irresponsibility made of congressional pork barreling and unaccountable federal bureaucrats. As I outlined earlier, Taxpayer funding in the Olympics has increased dramatically in recent years, as has the purpose of the funding. In the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles, $75 million in federal support, $75 million versus $1.3 billion for the Salt Lake City Olympics. Most notable about this figure, aside from how low it is relative to Atlanta and Salt Lake, is what the money was used for. Of the $75 million in Los Angeles, 68 million or 91 percent was used to help provide safety and security related services during the planned staging of the games. Only seven million dollars were for non-security related services. Providing safety and security support is a proper role for the federal government. No one would dispute that the federal government should provide whatever tax support necessary to ensure that the games are safe for everyone. However, the American taxpayer should not be burdened with building up the basic infrastructure necessary to a city to be able to pull off hosting the Olympic Games. That $1.3 billion, and some of those I will read here, 974000 for the Utah State Olympic Public Safety Command, $5 million for the Utah Communications Agency Network, $3 million to Olympic Regional Development Authority upgrades at Mount Van Hoovenberg Sports Complex, two million five hundred thousand Salt Lake City Olympics bus facilities, two million five hundred thousand Salt Lake City Regional Park ride lots, five hundred thousand Salt Lake City Olympics trans transit bus loan, on and on nine hundred and twenty-five thousand to allow the Utah State Olympic Public Safety continue to develop and support a public safety program. For the two thousand Olympics, one million dollars for the two thousand dollars security. Security training, two million two hundred thousand for the Charleston Water Conservation Conservancy District, Utah to meet sewer infrastructure needs associated with the two thousand. Mr. President, what this has turned into, what the Olympic Games supposedly hosted and funded by Salt Lake City, which began in corruption and bribery, has now turned into an incredible pork barrel project for the Salt Lake City and its environs. Not surprising, the GAO found that there was no effective mechanism in place for tracking federal funding and support to host cities. One thing I tried to do in a letter to the senator from Utah back in 1997. The GAO stated that, quote, in some cases it was difficult to determine the amount of federal funding and support because federal agencies generally did not track or report their funding and support for the Olympic Games. Congress in some cases authorized $690 million dollars the estimated $2 billion was some $1.3 billion approved by federal agencies. However egregious it might be for Congress to approve $690 million in taxpayers' funds, most of which was done through objectionable legislative pork barreling, it is astounding that federal bureaucrats with absolutely no accountability have ponied up $1.3 billion as a regular course of business. Almost $1.3 billion of federal funding and support is planned or has already been provided in the city of Salt Lake. $645 million, 51% is for construction of roads and highways. $353 million, 28% is for mass transit projects. 
approximately $107 million in miscellaneous other activities like building temporary parking lots and bus rentals and $161 million for safety and security. As of April 2000, the federal government planned to spend some $77 million to provide spectator transportation and venue enhancement for the Salt Lake Games. This includes $47 million in congressionally approved taxpayer funding for transportation systems. Among other things, Salt Lake officials plan to ask the federal government for $91 million for, to pay for things like transporting borrowed buses to and from Salt Lake, additional bus drivers, bus maintenance, and construction and operations of park and ride lots. However, as outlined, most of the money taken from taxpayers to fill the to pay the bill for the Salt Lake Games is going to develop, build, and complete major highway and transit improvement projects, quote, especially those critical to the success of the Olympic Games, unquote. This last phrase is vital to understanding the fleece game being played in Salt Lake City. I will filibuster and do everything in my power to delay any more appropriations bills that have this pork barrel spending for Salt Lake City. There is a process there is a process of authorization for these projects. They are conducted by the authorizing committees. Some of them may be worthwhile and necessary. Some of them may deserve to be authorized. Instead, they are stuck into appropriations bill without scrutiny or without anyone looking at them. Mr. President, this is terribly objectionable. It's up to $1.3 billion. We've still got another year at least to go. This has got to stop. So, Mr. President, I'm glad we got the GAO study. It's a classic example of what happens with pork barrel spending in this body, and it directly contributes to the cynicism and alienation of the American voter. These are my taxpayers' dollars, Mr. President, as well as the citizens of Utah's tax dollars. I have an obligation to my constituents in the state of Arizona that pay their taxes. In 2002, I went to Senator Bennett asking for some modest help. He's a member of the Appropriations Committee, as you know. Uh, I think he was thinking I might ask for five to ten million. We asked for several hundred million dollars in help. Everything that was needed was ultimately obtained. And